And the spiritual habit we're going to talk about today is the habit of Sabbath. Taking 24 hours every week to bring your mind and your body and your soul back to a state of rest. In fact, here are the four things that Sabbath is all about if you read the scriptures. The first thing is to cease, to stop, to push back against work, against effort, against demands, against consumerism, against want, and against fear. It's a day to rest, to rest our minds, to rest our bodies, to rest our souls in the presence of God. It's a day to delight, to enjoy, to give thanks to God for all the goodness we have and the wonderful things we have in our lives, from possessions to family to all the goodness. It's a day to delight and enjoy the goodness of God. And it's a day to worship. You mean go to church? Well, maybe. Depends on when you Sabbath or when you have a day off. It could be a sermon. It could also be a walk in the woods. Or worshiping God and listening to music. Or doing activities that are life-giving and redirect your heart and soul back to God in praise and thanks and gratitude to Him because He is good. And here's why this is such an important spiritual habit in our lives. God intended us to live lives that are rested. Jesus, who was incredibly productive, lived a life that was marked by rest. He was always rested. He was never overhurried. He was never in a busy, in a busy season. So I'll let you decide if this is a habit you need. I want you to do a quick assessment on whether you are a rested person or a restless person. Here's how you can tell the difference between being a rested person and a restless person. A rested person has margin in their schedule. But a restless person is overscheduled, always running from one thing to the next. A rested person has margin, space between your load and your limit. Uh, a rested person is deliberate with their actions, but a restless person is always rushed, always in a hurry. A rested person is able to delight in the present, but a restless person is always filled with distraction of what else they should be doing and what else needs to be done. They're always living in the future rather than in the present. A rested person has enjoyment in what they have, but a restless person has envy about what they don't have. A rested person has clarity of thought, clarity of mind, but a restless person is often feeling cloudy. A rested person has gratitude for what they have. A restless person has greed for what they want. A rested person has peace in their inner lives, but a restless person has anxiety. And finally, a rested person sees work as a way to contribute but a restless person sees work as a way to accomplish. Sabbath is a spiritual habit that allows us to move to a place in life of being rested because that's where we fully thrive and flourish. 